It's Thursday, August 29th. I'm Erin Guy with your news to go. Governor Ron DeSantis addressing the future of state parks following concerns from the community. Proposed plans at all state parks now on hold. DeSantis says the plan is, quote, going back to the drawing board. It remains to be seen if and how the parks initiative will be revived in the future. This morning, we're learning more about how deputies caught up with Glenn Gotell, the man accused of stabbing an off-duty Palm Beach County Sheriff's deputy in Green Acres on Tuesday. Deputies say they were helped by the county's homeless intervention team. They say the team was able to talk to people in the area who then helped them track down Gotell. The re he remains in the Palm Beach County Jail without bond. Experts expect busy Labor Day travel this weekend for those flying and average price for those airfares did drop a bit. Today, the FAA is expecting more than 52,000 flights for most of the holiday. The TSA anticipates screening more than 17 million people at airports nationwide through next Wednesday, setting a record for the holiday. American Airlines says this could be the largest Labor Day weekend operation ever, with a 14% increase in passengers from last year. And let's take a look at your seven day forecast. We'll see those warm highs near 89 degrees and even 90 to 1 degrees in the afternoon hours. Tomorrow into your weekend, we'll see a 40% coverage of rain during the morning hours, even in the afternoon. More rain next week on Tuesday and Wednesday with highs back down into the upper 80s.